your driver? Nah, you kidding? I've been driving my whole life. I just relocated from New York, and they said I had to take a test again. I went to New York once in the 80s. The heyday. Parents now got mugged by a guy with a samurai sword. It's not for everybody. Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look and review a surprise drama series on Paramount Plus with The Tulsa King. With Sylvester Stallone starring in a mob drama really caught my attention as Stallone is one of my favorite action stars of all time. I really was interested to see how he would perform in something that requires a lot more emotional depth than just brute strength. I was pleasantly surprised with his role in The Tulsa King. The Tulsa King was produced by Boss Ranch Productions and released by Paramount Plus in 22-2023. This is an American crime drama as Stallone plays the part of a mafia capo who is just released from prison and how he adjusts to life with his newfound freedom. The story revolves around Dwight Mayan Freddy, played by Stallone, who just finished a 25-year sentence in prison and upon his release, his mafia family that belongs in New York decides to send him to an unknown area in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Thinking being sent so he doesn't harm the current business, Dwight does his best to fit in and start fresh. The characters Dwight encounters are well written and fleshed out with the series ensuring the viewer gets a hint of who they are and what they bring to the series. I found engrossed from the very first episode as Dwight makes waves with the people he meets, greets, and befriends. Even those against him are fleshed out quite well. The writing here is well done, as the pacing keeps you wanting to watch more of this one episode a week affair. I keep wanting to binge, but I understand why Paramount does this just to keep you subscribed. But that's another story. Although you are able to predict what happens next, the series still isn't trying to fool you, but rather presents what you see in a best light and it's with the acting and the writing here that really keeps you glued. There are some action and brutal sequences that you would expect from a crime drama, especially involving the Mafia, but it doesn't go over the top with blood and gore, but what they have done here still gives you a shock factor and how it's done and presented with just the right amount of suspense and trepidation. The design of the environment that does make Dwight look out of place while he resides in Tulsa and really brings his older experience to the forefront as he connects with a new world in a new environment and new world being in prison for 25 years. Overall, the first season does an excellent job in hooking the viewer in something we have seen before with a fresh new take and look to it. Stallone does a fantastic job in his role and makes a perfect anti-hero as a mafia capo. As the story progresses and how Dwight affects those around him is compounded, really makes you want to find out what happens next with week to week episodes. Tulsa King Season 1 gets a strong 8.0 out of 10 for its wonderfully written story with just the right amount of pacing to get hooked. The character development here is strong that really makes you care for each of them as the season progresses. That's it for this look at a surprise hit in my book with the Tulsa King. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. Hey, Dwight, you feeling it? There's a possibility. <laughs> Want some? No. Okay. Want some? Here. Beep. Are you just going to pull it away again? No, of course not. Trust me. Well, <laughs> damn.